I'm Ashley. Welcome to Renee's Space. And on this episode, I'm going to be making pickled red onions. I've seen this a lot. This is like my second time actually making it. And I really enjoy it. I didn't realize how good red onions are in general. Outside all the onions. Um, something about red is very flavorful. But for this, I just like then cut them very thinly. Um, the bottom right there, that's the bottom of the onion. I took that off. And I wanted to have like more of a garlic taste, so I added one clove of garlic, and I cut that in three. So I'm going to see how that works out, because that's my first time ever adding garlic to to my pickle onions, like fresh garlic. Alright, so here's some dill seeds. But these seeds right here, I'm not going to lie, they're not really strong at all. And two, I believe they're old, so these are like <laughs> ingredients that my grandma had in her cabinet. I add one fourth of red wine vinegar definitely recommend to use that rather than apple cider vinegar you're not going to have that rich dark um pickled taste you're looking for if you don't use red wine vinegar and once that's done and i completed the rest of it with water i had a heaping of salt and also i added some honey to um to calm down to balance the, the saviness into the pickled onions. And then I add some heaping of um, oregano, garlic again. This is just granulated garlic. Yeah, I definitely want garlic to stand out as well. But I just wanted everything to uh, to be seasoned well because like the longer it sticks, the better it tastes. It is just like really completes a meal and added a spice. I want to see if this actually works, but... Um, I haven't ate the pickled onions yet since I made this video, but I've made it before and it's always a good outcome. So that's how everything looks. Once it's ready, then I put it in the refrigerator and that's it. Thank you for coming to Renee Space. Check them out. Show. Bye.